Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to predict the missing values by using pandas interpolation. So we will use different methods here, linear method and time series method. Okay, so let's walk to the data first. If you can see the data here, this is ride sharing application data. So I do have a date in 2011, January month, starting from one till 31st. So there are non-subscribed users were booked 331 caps in a particular day and subscribed users booked this many caps in a day. Okay, if you can see data here for a particular day 13, I do not see any values. There are null values. Also for 19 day, I do not see any values. If you can have a look at the data, there are missing dates also. So 9, 10, 11, 12 missing from 8 to 13. Also, if you can see here, then 14, 13, 14, from 15 to 18, there was some data, some data was missing, right? So I would like to predict my, how many non-subscribed users took the cap and how many subscribed users booked the cab on 13th, 2011, January month. The same can be applicable for 19th. So now we are going to be predict these two values by using linear method and interpolation method. Okay, let's start with uh, your Jupyter notebook, launch your uh, Jupyter notebook and start your coding here. So here I'm trying to import my bike sharing data Converting my uh, DTE day object to date data type. Also, passing DTE day as index to column. Right. So, when I'm trying to execute this one, it will display, display first six records and placing DTE day as an indexed one. So, if you want to know what is meant by indexed one, if you know row number in SQL, the same way this will be applicable in Python pandas. Right, so how we are going to be predict our values for 13th and 19th date. So let's say I'm not trying, I'm not giving here head here, I'm trying to execute directly so that it will display some null values for 13th date and 19th day. Right, so here to predict your values, first call your data frame dot. So we need to pass function interpolate okay that's all so we need just pass your data frame then start with your interpolate okay when you're trying to executing this one if you can have a look at the data for the 13th day you can see some values here right you can see some values earlier we used to fill the values by using fill and a by passing a required value but based on the previous record, I want to predict my future value or the current value based on the data. For that, we are going to utilize interpolation here. So how linear interpolation works in mathematics, the same way it will work over here, based on the index to column and based on the null value. So it will take this as X and this as Y data. Then only it will go ahead and implement your interpolation. So for the non-subscribe, if you can see here, 61. And for subscribe, that is 1129. So likewise, it has applied for 19th day also, a value of 68.5, 1605.5. But this should be a rounded value, right? So for that, I'm going to be use my numpy around function to round the values. See here, now my values are going to be rounded properly. Right, so this is how interpolation works. So what is the method? The default method for interpolation is linear method. The method is equal to linear method. So the default for interpolation linear method, even if you can place or if you call it explicitly, okay, it will go with the linear method. So, how our 
time series will work exactly with the interpolation. I'm trying to copy the same data and placing here time. So if you can have a look at here, based on these two values, it will go ahead and predict your values. But if you can see the difference here, this is eighth day, this is 13th day. We missed four days between these two dates. So there might be some data which I, there might be some data also available between these two days. So based on dates, I have to calculate my current day value. Even I do not have the exact value, I would like to calculate my current day based on the previous day. But here, the values are missing for the dates. So even the values are missing, I want to predict the exact value based on the previous value and based on the indexed date. If you pass the time series here, and if you can, can have a look at the 13th day, the value is 56, but earlier the value is 61. Because it has taken a value from the previous, but here it is calculating based on your time also, right? Based on dates. So they are missing, it thinks that internally, they are missing dates, 9, 10, 11, 12. So based on those dates, it will calculate that. It will predict the value, then it will give exact prediction based on the date. Also, if you can see here, 19th, it is 78. But here it is 68 only. Right. So based on the predictions, based on the method, it will go ahead and calculate your data and you predict the value exactly. Right. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll post many more videos on predictions.